Welcome to part 8. I will show you how to assemble the complete frame. Let's get started. We will build the complete frame shown here. Group each frame section built in parts 3 through 7. Part 3, the forward frames. Part 4, the floor. Part 5, the front end and steering column support. Part 6, the front axle. And Part 7, the top and top supports. To complete the frame, you will also need the following parts. Four one and a quarter inch PVC reducing bushings. Four one and a quarter inch PVC couplings. One 10 foot by one and three eighths inch chain link fence top rail and two one and a quarter inch by 48 inch wood dowels. The complete frame assembly is where you will find out if you made accurate measurements, clean square cuts, and all PVC pipes were seated fully against the shoulder of the fittings. If any of the five sections are not precise, you will not be able to join the five sections together to make a square symmetrical frame. If the frame is not square and the sections do not line up, when you begin to install the hardware components in steps 11 through 29, they will not fit. If you have any issues with any of the five frame sections not fitting properly, go back and rebuild the section to specifications before continuing the assembly process. Refer to the plans on the frame assembly and follow along. Lay the floor assembly on the table. Glue to one and a quarter inch couplings to each end of the cross members. Make sure the PVC pipes are seated properly inside the fittings. Test fit the right side forward frame. Apply primer and glue to the PVC pipes and fittings. Push the forward frame on the PVC pipe until you have a tight fit at the joint. Use a 2x4 or square to make sure the frame is straight and aligned properly. Wipe off any excess glue with a paper towel. Follow the same procedure for the left side forward frame. Measure and mark a one and one quarter inch wood dowel to fit plug to plug through the rear cross member. Secure the wood dowel in a vise.
cut on the mark. Sand the cut in with 150 grit sandpaper. Secure the 10 foot fence top rail in a vise. Measure 60 inches and cut the rail. You will have two 60 inch rails. Smooth and even out the cut ends. Insert the wood dowel into the rear cross member. Temporarily install reducing bushings. Do not glue. Install the steel rails into the left and right lower frames. Be sure to push the steel rails to the rear cross T. Press fit the axle and front end assembly to the front forward frames. Make sure there is a tight fit at the joints. Do not glue. Secure the joints with screws after the frame is assembled and trued. Apply primer and glue to the PVC pipe and fittings. Make sure the PVC pipe is seated properly. Press down and hold for 30 seconds. Wipe off any excess glue with a paper towel. Insert wood dowels into the left and right seat frames. Drill a 1 8 inch pilot hole into the left and right seat frame. Install a screw temporarily into the seat frame. This will keep the wood dowel in place until the seat frames are installed.
Install the rear end bumper supports. Do not glue. Use a rubber mallet and make sure the fittings are seated properly. Install two 9-inch dash supports to the top of the forward frames. Apply primer and glue to the dash and steering column support PVC pipes and fittings. Install the dash onto the PVC pipes. Use a rubber mallet and make sure the fittings are seated properly. Wipe off any excess glue with a paper towel. Install two 11 and a half inch dash supports to the top of the steering column support. Apply primer and glue to the 24 inch front top supports and front ENTs. Install the front top supports to the front end. Make sure the PVC pipe is seated properly. Tap the PVC pipe with a 2x4. Wipe off any excess glue with the paper towel. Test fit a T on the dash and steering column support. Apply primer and glue to the PVC pipe and fittings. Install the T to the dash and steering column support. Make sure the T is straight and seated properly. Push the T down to the top frame support. Make sure the PVC pipes are seated properly inside the T. Tap the T with the 2x4. Wipe off any excess glue with the paper towel. Apply primer and glue to the 26 inch front top frame supports and install into the T's. Group together the PVC pipes and fittings, you need to build the rear frame supports. Four one and a quarter inch T's, two one and a quarter inch by 20 inch PVC pipes, 
two one and a quarter inch by 24 inch PVC pipes and two one and a quarter inch by 26 inch PVC pipes. Assemble the top rear supports as shown above. Two one and a quarter inch T's connect to the forward frames. Two one and a quarter inch T's connect to the PVC pipes. Two 24 inch PVC pipes connect to the T's. Two 26 inch PVC pipes also connect to the T's and two 20 inch PVC pipes connect to the top frame. Be sure to install the top supports as shown before starting the next step. Install the top frame to the front and rear top supports. Press fit the rear first, then the front. Do not glue. Pop off the rear top frame from the rear top supports. Apply primer and glue to the PVC pipe and fittings. Press the top frame down onto the rear top support. Make sure the fittings are seated properly. Tap the fittings with a 2x4. Wipe off any excess glue with the paper towel. Pop off the front top frame from the top frame supports. Apply primer and glue to the PVC pipes and fittings. Press the top frame down onto the front top supports. Make sure the fittings are seated properly. Tap the fittings with a 2x4. Insert the cross tubes into the top frame. Turn the side rails until the cross tubes are fully inserted on both sides. Secure all top frame elbows and tees with screws. Pre-drill 1 8 inch pilot holes at all screw locations. the frame is complete. Taking our time, making sure we had accurate measurements and clean square cuts, all sections fit together perfectly for an error-free assembly of the complete frame of the sidekick. Here are some views of the completed frame.
Be sure to watch part 9. I will install the steering column. Thanks for watching.